if you see the karyotype and nature of the different types of honey bees for example queen bee queen bee is nothing but female it is diploid queen bee is a fertile female and it is diploid in nature two sets of chromosomes are present if you take drones if you take the drones these are fertile males drones are nothing but what fertile males these are haploid these are haploid haploid means what only one set of chromosomes are present means worker bees next worker bees worker bees are sterile females so these are also diploid right sir here if you take bee colony there are three types of honey bees are present in a colony queen bee it is fertile female with two sets of chromosomes means diploid if you take drone this is fertile male with one set of chromosomes worker bee so worker bee it is sterile female with two sets of chromosomes sir here in the honey bees 16 pairs of chromosomes are present how many chromosomes are present 16 chromosomes are present okay sir if you take queen bee this is fertile female next this is drone drone means nothing but male so how many chromosomes are present 32 drone is 16 so queen bee is diploid May, this male is haploid okay sir sir during the gametogenesis process gametogenesis process sir here in the gametogenesis process 16 chromosomes and 16 chromosomes these are ova sir here during the gametogenesis in the queen bee meiotic division takes place what type of division takes place sir meiotic division when the gametogenesis is taking place gametogenesis taking place in the drone or male that is mitotic you know if 16 are there if meiotic division occurs they will become into 8 means chromosomal number will be reduced so that is why in the male honey bees during the gametogenesis mitotic division takes place sir now how many chromosomes are there because mitotic division 16 chromosomes this is a sperm and here this is fertilization what is this process fertilization you know 16 plus 16 32 so 32 will develop into female i already said females are with two sets of chromosomes so this unfertilized egg unfertilized egg develops into male unfertilized develop uh, egg develops into male so here this is called as parthenogenesis parthenogenesis in the parthenogenesis process the unfertilized ova develops into males by the process of parthenogenesis so means here neither sex chromosomes are determining the sex nor ratio between the chromosomes is not determining what is determining the sex number of sets of chromosomes are determining the sex if two sets of chromosomes are there female if one set of chromosomes are present male so queen bee produce single set of chromosomes containing ova and male produces drone produces sperms by the mitotic division and if sperm and ova fuses that will develop into 
what female sir if you take the female it got 16 from the mother and 16 from the which one father and these 16 came for came from whom mother okay now so mother 16 same 16 here mother 16 it is forming 32 okay now means generally the majority of the genes in the female are shared by shared from mothers 75 percentage comes from the mother in the females okay now only 25 percentage of the chromosomes comes from the father okay now so you take this is 32 16 16 is coming from here this 16 comes from the mother here this 16 for example 16 mother this 16 father so 16 32 it is split into 16 and this is also 16 16 plus 16 32 so means majority of the genes in the females shared from or inherited from the mother only unfertilized eggs develops into male by the process of parthenogenesis this is also called as arhinotoki this is also called as arhinotoki sir if you take generally there is a usual principle for the honeybees the male honeybees has no father but has grandfather has grandfather for example this is male do this male has father no father this is male and this is parent only female parent no father so mother of this male is this queen bee so male has no father but it has grandfather because this female formed from 16 from the mother 16 from the father so male mother mother's father so male has no father and it has only grandfather so this is about the haplodiploidy means neither sex chromosomes nor ratio between the chromosomes will determine the sex what will determine the sex sex is determined by what sex is determined by the haploid in nature or next haploid in nature diploid in nature if one set of chromosomes are present or two sets of chromosomes are present if one set of chromosomes are present that will develop into the male bees if two sets of chromosomes are present that will develop into female bees okay means number of sets of chromosomes will determine the sex but not the type of chromosomes okay so this is about the haplodiploidy in anibase this is the third type of sex determination